Hey YouTube, what's up? It's me Jihad78. Uh, it's been a while since we've done a video. A couple of my friends on YouTube, a couple of subscriber friends, they're like, uh, hey, when are we going to see another video? Or when are you going to do another video? It's been such a long time, we want to see more. So I thought we'd, uh, to make up for lost time, we'll do something, something different and something nice. For those of you who don't know, and who doesn't? This is a uh, get this big thing out of the way. This is the original Xbox. This one came out in uh, 2001. For those of you who don't know, alongside the PS2 and the GameCube, I did not get this Xbox back in 2001. Uh, got this maybe about a year ago at the market, and um. It may be nice and clean and shiny now, but the day I picked it up, it was quite filthy. I mean, I'm going to try and buff it up a little, you know, with some polish. And there was all dust in here, and I got it out. But it's nice and shiny now, nice and smooth. And it does run pretty good, but it has those stupid dirty disc errors, you know. Or, you know, what what is up with that <laughs> dirty disc? I don't None of these discs are dirty. So anyway, moving along, didn't have any controllers, but fortunately the same day I picked up this Duke, this Duke controller, the same day. This one uh, was fairly dirty, but it, they're strong, they, I mean, they, 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 they really last, uh, considering what, what it went through. This is very comfortable to hold, but the thumbsticks were really, really, like, ow, they were gone. If you look closely, let's just zoom in here. These are PS2 thumbsticks, which I had placed uh, because the original thumbsticks were very painful to use. Just uh, and it does feel much better with the PS2 thumbsticks. I know that's sacrilege for a lot of people what I've done, but uh, just for comparison's sake, you can see the PS2 thumbsticks are exactly what I've done here. I had an old PS2 controller lying around, and I said. Yeah, what the hey, let's give it a shot. And it, and it fit perfectly. It, it, the, the, the gap as well, you know, when you press, feels perfect. These are very well made. I'm surprised that people hated these when they came out. I, I actually prefer them to the uh, to the Type S that we have over here. You know, I mean, the only, you can see the difference is uh, basically the... This Xbox controller does not have shoulder buttons, neither did the Type S. Basically, the black and blue are the shoulder buttons. You know, you'll switch guns like when you're playing Hade or something. Eventually, they move them further down here. You can see, but and uh, these buttons are round, like what we have on our Xboxes now. And these were oval shaped, egg shaped. But uh, it's okay. It feels, it feels good. Uh, they they for you current generation players over here. The start button is right here in the middle. And the Type S controller, they uh, they brought them down. That's a 360 thumbstick from a butcher 360. Uh, like the Dreamcast in my other video, this is where the uh, memory cards went because the Xbox does it was uh, the first system to have built-in memory. This model in particular has an 8GB Seagate memory inside. Unfortunately, it has the Thomson DVD drive in it. I don't know if it's the worst or one of the worst. Basically, the Xbox came with, I think, three versions of a d disk drive. The Thompson, the Philips, and finally third, the uh, Samsung. Those are very hard to find. If you, 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 you'd be lucky to get them secondhand or, or something. You know, the, the, so that's why the dirty disk error comes. I've opened it, I cleaned it twice, it, it doesn't help. It, it, it runs, but the drive has to be changed eventually. Before I move on to my games, I'd like to talk more about the controllers over here. I've got a nice variety of controllers. Uh, we'll talk about the remote in a minute over here. This is a Crystal, Crystal one. Uh, they're all, they're, they're, the Type-S controllers are pretty good. I mean, they're fairly solid. They, they work okay. Uh, this one's nice. You can see the inside of it. I've been told these only came out in Europe or in PAL, region, PAL regions, to be more precise. Uh, it's nice. This isn't as shiny as the commercials make it out to be, but it's a good, good controller. I have a blue one over here. 
this is nice. I, li I really like this control. I think out of all the S controllers, this is my favorite. I've, I've saved, given it the best thumbsticks I could find. Uh, this is probably my favorite controller out of the Type S. Yeah, I don't use it that much. I keep it just for special occasions. Um, but the ones that I do use quite often are these two. These I found lying around again in the market a few weeks after I, I uh, picked up the, uh, the, the, the Duke and these two. The, this blue one works nice, but the cord gets a bit funny. You gotta bend it to work, so I decided to have some fun and I inverted the colors out of boredom, you know. Nothing wow, I mean, it wouldn't even be considered a mod. But you can see that that one has a blue casing on top, and this one has a blue casing on the bottom. Just just out of boredom, really. But uh, this one is a bit funny. This one works fine, perfectly. I use this every day. It's my everyday, every time Xbox controller. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't use the Duke that often. I've kept it just for just to keep it around. Apparently, these are somewhat sought after. I've seen them go for like a hundred dollars on Amazon, brand new, and. Twenty or thirty dollars uh, on second hand. I haven't seen many on Amazon UK or in Europe that often. Now again, going back to the remote here, uh, the Xbox will play DVDs. This one's NTSC, so it'll only play Region One DVDs. Uh, no AV, no no DVDRs because of the Thompson drive. Just just. DVDs, read one, but unfortunately you need a receiver, which, which you, get. you need one of these Xbox receivers, and it plugs in to the uh, one of the ports. I put it in the fourth one, but people do it, and then voila, it'll 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 play. Uh, a word of advice: uh, even though this is a Region One NNTSC Xbox, this is a Region One receiver. If I bought a receiver unit in Europe or in uh, PAL regions, it would have uh, told the Xbox just to play Region 2 DVDs. So just a warning for some of you out there. Uh, I don't know if there's a way around it, but I've been told that once you stick it in, once you the Xbox accepts it, it'll play the Region DVDs based on the receiver unit. But anyway, just a warning. I, it, I haven't tested that. You get a nice remote here. I, I picked this one up in the shop, fairly cheap as well. Nothing special, nothing fancy. It doesn't feel terribly well made, but uh, it does the job nicely. And the Xbox plays uh, movies out quite nicely. Um, they're clear, but the problem is I have a PS2 with component. This Xbox with component puts out the movies at 480i interlaced, not 480p. Uh, doesn't make much of a difference if you're really, really crazy, I mean, about watching movies, but uh, I'll say it's brighter, but not as crisp as the uh, PS2 that I have that plays with movies in 480p. But enough of that for now. Let's put these over here. Uh, come here, Mr. S. So we'll talk about some of the games I have over here. Now I haven't played every single one of these games because I only got these some of these recently at a sale. The shop was getting rid of them. <laughs> Horribly cheap and these were all sealed but I had to t I tested them out just to see one by one. Um, <clears throat> there wasn't much of a selection. I just got the basically the best games that I, I would like to play or haven't played in the past. Um, let's take it off with Second Sight. Oh, actually no. You know what? Let's talk about Time Splitters too, because this game is much more popular. The Time Splitter series. This is a game made by, uh, developed by Free Radical, published by EDIOS. Um I've been told that this is a quite similar to GoldenEye, but I have GoldenEye on mine in Nintendo 64, and uh, over there, <laughs> little green guy. Uh, so I'm getting to grips with my camera here. This is a first person shooter, very 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 good game, uh, good multiplayer action, uh, didn't have online at the time, I guess the Xbox server wasn't available at the time, but I got this game, this was the first game I got for this Xbox and it's complete here and it's in good condition, I got the manual and everything, the game. So for those of you who like to 
like games in the, in the genre of GoldenEye, I'd recommend this for your Xbox. Or, you know, this wasn't exclusive, it was available on GameCube and PS2, but uh, it, it uh, Xbox is a good multiplayer machine and uh, the graphics might be slightly better, but not nothing much to cry out about. This game was made by the same people, by Free Radical, but uh, published by Codemasters. For those of you who don't remember, uh, or too old, too young to remember, uh, Codemasters were the were the guys who did Micro Machines for the Super uh, NES and Sega Mega Drive Genesis back in the back in the day. Um, that's all I remember them being famous for. If you can remember something, you can give us any comments. Again, this is a uh, first-person shooter as well. But uh, it's quite uh, freaky in the sense that you can use powers like stealth or pen, you know, use some magic or some kind of uh, psychic powers or something. I uh, haven't just I just watched the opening video of this game. I didn't replay really it, so I'm not going to really go into that or say something that I don't know. Uh, I I really like the Star Wars series here. This is Jedi Knight Acad Jedi Knight Jedi Academy for this for the Xbox. Uh, this is a third person and first person shooter. Uh, you can choose what kind of force you want if you want to be good force or bad force or I beg your pardon dark force or light force. Uh, I like this game. You can choose the color of your sabers. Uh, I don't know if you can see that over there but uh, some of the sabers are like red or yellow or green but uh, apart from that this is a good Star Wars game. Uh, uh, graphics are, are, are nice and uh, the the sound effects you know of course you got the John Williams uh, score going going on and this game actually did have online multiplayer as a matter of fact let's just have a look here <laughs> when I bought this game it was still sealed and the, the 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 coupon is here for two months free trial on the original Xbox Live yeah there you go you can see it right there I'm trying to be quick here uh, <laughs> Please correct me if I'm wrong. I cannot pronounce the name. The call of Thul Thul or Cluthu. I cannot. That's such a tongue twister. I cannot pronounce it. The corners of the earth. This is a horror game in the uh, first-person view. I wouldn't call it first-person shooter horror game, but it's more like uh, in the you know if you like H.P. Lovecraft, you know things like uh, Nightbreed or Hellraiser sort of thing. It's you can see. <laughs> some freaky stuff there. Uh, this game has very nice atmosphere and um, you know unlike other horror games like Resident Evil this one's more like uh, not even like Silent Hill you know those games that do have some action base this one is pure you know like investigation and uh, like say for example an enemy's coming down the alley you can't go ahead and fight him because you're gonna lose because it's he's just uh, not human or supernatural you gotta hide or you know like uh, pull like a rope or something that will fall on his head or yeah you gotta use your brains basically but uh, I, I like to play this game yeah I, I do do recommend it for those of you who know that uh, Beth Bethesda they did the uh, Fallout series as well especially for our 3 uh, this game Manhunt is apparently was banned in some countries it wasn't banned here we don't even have games that get banned here uh, it's based on like a, uh, a sick game show that on t people are watching on TV and uh, if you've seen the movies like uh, or read the book The Running Man with Arnold Schwarzenegger it's somewhat like that but uh, very very violent. You get like to kill people by putting bags in their head and beating them to death. Uh, I play Actually the thing is I haven't played uh, Manhunt until I played Manhunt 2 <laughs> so if you do, if you played either one or the other, you know what to expect. But this one was not censored, unlike Manhunt uh, 2. Although, if you do have the hack code, you can um, on Manhunt 2, you can you can override that. Uh, this is Doom 3. This was released on PC and Xbox only back in 2005. I, you guys have uh, maybe you've played Doom 1 and 2 on the PC or or like Doom, which I gave to a friend of mine recently on his Super NES. He he knows who I'm talking about. Uh, it's not so clear. Uh, again, a first-person shooter, but uh, this game is quite freaky. Uh, you, you know, try playing in the dark on on a on a fairly large LCD. You know, or, uh, with a good surround sound system, which I, I am unfortunately I don't have. This is a good game, and this game actually has online multiplayer. I don't know if you can see that there. Just trying to get it. 
can't zoom in but this game does have online multiplayer well when the server was on but uh, it's nice it's 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 got good uh, ambiance good action good, nice selection of weapons and it, it, it's just a kick-ass game you, you gotta get this game if you, you can only get this on Xbox or uh, uh, PC I don't know if, any, if these games are all compatible with the Xbox 360 but uh, You'll have to find out on your own. I, I, I would recommend just if you do have an Xbox, you can get it on Xbox. Yeah, I'm a. This is Batman Rise of Sinzu. I, I like the. Uh, it's basically based on Batman the animated series, which I'm a big fan of as well. In this game, you get to play as Batman, or either Robin or Nightwing or Batgirl. Uh, it's got those nice st cartoony style graphics from the animated series. Uh, you can pull off combos and. Uh, it's actually two-player co-op as well. It says so right there. I haven't been able to play it with uh, anyone, but it's a nice game. Uh, I like the. It does definitely, definitely, uh, in the have the feel of the of the series. Again, all these games are complete. I'll just uh, I can't really show all the games. We don't, we don't have much time here on YouTube, but uh, all these games were purchased brand new and complete, just for the information. <laughs> uh, Cold Fear. This game was done by Darkworks, who I know them for doing the game uh, Alone in the Dark, The New Nightmare, or Alone in the Dark Part 4 from 2001 on the Sega Dreamcast and PS1, PS2, and Game Boy Color. But uh, that this this game was this game has been I've been told is the poor man's Resident Evil. Came out about the same time, and the guy looks like Leon Kennedy. He's got the gun, and everything, and it's, it's behind the shoulder third-person shooter. Uh, I don't think the, the graphics are any better than Resident Evil, if not they're inferior, but it does borrow a lot, you can see from the, the style. I didn't play this game that much, so I can't really comment at the moment, but uh, I'll, we'll be doing a review eventually. Now this is uh, the Evil Dead re Regeneration, based on the uh, Evil Dead series with Bruce Campbell, that's him over there. And you play the char his character Ash from the Evil Dead series. Uh, for those of you who have seen Evil Dead 1, 2, and 3, this is basically that a game that takes place after Evil Dead uh, 2. At the end of Evil Dead 2, he gets... Uh, basically, it's a what if, you know. <laughs> okay, well, if you have seen Evil Dead 2, he, he basically gets sucked into a vortex and ends up in uh, the King Arthur... Uh, times I won't ruin the, the story for you that much if you haven't seen it, but <laughs> the series is nice. It's quite funny actually. This uh, basically goes in, in another direction and says, "What if he didn't get sucked into the vortex? What happens? Well, he's just lying around the cabin." I I played the first stage. It's quite a funny game, and uh, Bruce Campbell does give his voice to Ash in this game. And if you recall, a game before this was known as Evil Dead: A Fistful of Boomstick. That was a nice game as well. I have that on PS2. We'll do a review once my PS2 collection gets bigger. Uh, this game, Jade Empire, uh, was done by Bioware, who are the guys behind uh, uh, what's that game? Dragon's Age and uh, Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3, I think, as well. This is the only game I have that's exclusive for Xbox. The Xbox, uh, original Xbox, did not have enough exclusive titles. I think that's what, you know, uh, kind of killed the game. I mean, it, 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 it couldn't... Uh, it's so one thing that helped, I guess, boost up the PS2. Anyway, mm -hmm. this is an RPG, action RPG, uh, with a uh, Far Eastern or ancient uh, China, as it says, says here, theme. Uh, it's quite a long game, I've been told. It's got a very nice storyline. This was the last copy of the game in the shop. The guy uh, told me if I he had two copies, actually. One was the Spanish edition, and he had this one. Uh, he had this one under the counter, and I said, uh, well, you know... I really want this game. He's like, all right, go ahead. You know, the guy who reserved it didn't want it, so <laughs> it didn't come back for it. So you take it. Again, the game's complete. All, all these games are complete. Uh, a Red Dead Revolver. This is a Western game, you know, with the... That is the prequel or spiritual prequel to Red Dead Redemption on the Xbox 360 that came out in 2009. Uh, this game, not many people didn't really uh, do much for the western genre 
cowboy genre back in 2005 when this first came out but I, I, I do like this game uh, the controls aren't as good as the one on the Xbox 360 but again this is an older game uh, if you like westerns with more like the uh, Clint Eastwood style uh, western movies this is a nice game to have the graphics are pretty good and you know you get to do all sorts of upgrades on, on your guns and things you know and uh, I like the music yeah. definitely has a good western theme so uh, you can get this on PS2 as well. So you can make a choice of whether you want to play this on Xbox 360 or on uh, on uh, X or on PS2. Coming along here, we have uh, from Russia with Love, uh, and literally starring Sean Connery because he was in the movie and he did his voice for this game. Uh, this is the first, I think, and probably the last time he'll ever do a voice for, well, we never know, but uh, this was the first time that he lent his voice to a, uh, a Bond game. And you can see here, it has multiplayer, and you have all the Bond gadgets as well and stuff. I, I have not seen, uh, you know, this it might be crazy, but I only saw From Russia With Love once and I was too young to remember it is an old movie it came out back in the 60s and but this and I if you like Bond get this game and for your information this game again is multi-platform it did come out on Xbox and as well as PS2 and GameCube and even PSP as well but I wouldn't recommend the PSP version I've, I've been told it's uh, it's no good frame rate issues and stuff now out of all these games so far this is my favorite the Warriors this is based on a 1979 movie from uh, Walt, director Walter Hill. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, about a gang that's stuck behind enemy lines because they've been accused of something that they didn't do. Uh, if you see here, like 20 miles behind the enemy lines, so they're fighting their way, fighting other gangs just to get home. Again, this is another game by Rockstar. We have a couple over here by Rockstar as well. Rockstar really, really did justice to the movie with this game. Usually video games based on movie licenses are not uh, too good, but The Warriors is, is really a classic. You know, I really like this game. I had this initially on PS2, but I lost that copy, and uh, uh, this this copy on Xbox will is, isn't that much better graphically. I mean, 720p, but it's not really saying much. Again, this game's complete, like the rest of all these games. If you like the movie, or if you're into the beat-em-up genre, I recommend this game. I, I really do. It's a good game. Uh, just you know, and again, <laughs> it's 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 just pure fun. You know, you, you don't get to score around beating up things. You got to do uh, submissions and you know other other sort of things that, that make the game fun. Especially if you like the movie, you'll really get into it. I I, I like to play this game at night to capture the feel of, of of the movie. Now, finally, we have this game, Fallout: Brotherhood of Steel. This is a uh, spin-off or part of the series of the Fallout series. I've only played Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas. Um, I did not play this game when it first came out. Uh, this game is like, a, you know, in the same post-apocalyptic uh, sort of setting of uh, Fallout. It has a over-the-top pers third-person perspective. So basically you see that at a, at a bird's-eye angle. Uh, this game I didn't really think much of it when it first came out I didn't play it yet but again it's complete and I've been told by some of my friends that if you do like the Fallout series this is a nice game to try out again this game wasn't that expensive and you can get it pretty reasonable on, on eBay or Amazon uh, I will do a review for this game in the future I promise I promise so there you have it it's the Xbox collection all of it basically Please, I'd like to hear your comments, no matter how good or how bad. Uh, that's it, really. So we got the controllers again. You left. Forgive me, it's very late at night, but I can't let the YouTubers down. That's it, that's the collection, that's all for now. Uh, I have made some pickups at the flea market recently. I've got a couple of goodies that I bagged last week. But uh, we'll be talking about that in the coming coming days. 
So for all of you out there, please comment, subscribe, like, dislike, as you like. Good night and peace out.